Marijuana has the United States torn. As of October 2013, some 21 states and the District of Columbia have laws regulating the use of marijuana in some form. However, only in Colorado and Washington have legalized weed for recreational use. With the health risks outweighing the therapeutic benefits of marijuana, we take a look at five ways you can use weed but not have to take it. Who needs olive oil when there's cannabis G? G is clarified butter that hardens and can be melted into an oily substance when heated. Using it in place of olive oil still makes for an edible pizza. Cannabischef.com says to add it to both the dough and into the toppings for a pie like no other. Option number four is Texas chili. We all love chili during the cold months. Why not add marijuana to the mix? High Times created a recipe in honor of Willie Nelson that added red chili pepper, but the key ingredient is finely ground buds that are added after the sauce has been removed from the heat. Option number three is wine. If you decide to visit California's central coast, you might smell a pungent new aroma coming from their wine glasses. That would be weed and the fermenting of grapes with this sticky, icky, THC-laden leaves. The substance is blended with boldly reds, such as Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah. Option number two is medical marijuana oral strips, the medical marijuana version of a Listerine breath strip. These come in mint and lemon flavors with noticeable effects in five to 15 minutes. The plus side is how convenient they are to carry and consume, if you have the right documents, that is. Option number one, and the most obvious, is the infamous weed brownies. How many times have you tried to make weed brownies and failed miserably? Use a grinder several times until the weed is like a powder making the THC act as its fullest potential. Adding that to the brownie mixture instead of a lump of buds will make it that much better. There you have it, ways to knock out two birds with one stone. Eat, drink, and get high at the same time. If you're in Colorado or in Washington, hit the kitchen. But otherwise, we hope you have a medical marijuana license for these recipes.